Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome. This is your March 2022 love bonus reading. Okay, what's going on for Scorpio? Starting out with gesture. Ooh, you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Okay. Don't shut the door right away. You might regret it. It might be really changed. Dark side. Ooh, now why did, after I said that, we get this card. They have a dark side that no one knows and feel it's their true side. But too afraid to show you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. And then we have resurrection. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness an impossible made possible. Okay. They want to bring this back around. You might feel like it's completely over, and I don't know. They're going to come in and try to change your mind. Here we have Solitude. Time spent in Solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. But they also, by doing that, they also found out about this dark side, maybe. Maybe they didn't really, I don't know. Well, well let's see. Let's see. Why, why do we have gesture here? We have... Knight Pentacle, steady progress. Yes, they're coming towards you slow and sure. That's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But that does move very slow. But they're going to make sure they come back come back correctly to you. And why do we have this dark side? We really want to know about this. Going to have to definitely pull some more information on that one. Let's see. Oh, Six of Pentacles, equality. So they want to balance things out with you. That's that, you know, that's sort of like just going right past what was the card just said, right? Yeah, they want to balance things out, but we'll get into it a little more. Let's see. Resurrection. My, what's, why is resurrection here? And it says five of cups. Oh, wounds. Yeah. There, you know, they probably know that you are just seeing those three cups. You don't see the two cups that are possible. Knight of cups. Romantic gesture. Yeah, this person, they're coming in slow and sure. And they're also coming in with their cup of love. So let's see. I have to get more into this somehow. Now well, we gotta find out what's going on with that. Let's go into this with this deck. Why what is this about this dark side? Tell me more. We might not be able to find it out right now. You might not have might not be supposed to know. Oh my god. <laughs> when I do, I do too many readings, I can't talk after a while. Let's see. We have the Hierophant commitment. Okay. We have the fool, a new beginning, and we have the world. Okay, I'm not getting too much. And then we have the page of pentacles coming in with an offer here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But what is this with this hierophant? I want you. Ooh, okay, for somebody, I have maybe there's something hidden, but you don't know about them. Something about a re, a, their religion or something that. Because this is the Pope. So this is religious card. Then we have the fool. Goes off and does whatever. Some, something new. Willing to take a leap of faith. This person wants to be in a commitment with you. Take a leap of faith. And this is the world. Something that has ended is bringing it back around. A completed cycle. Okay, I guess we're not going to find out about this. Of course, this is not going to be for everyone. Whatever this hidden dark side is. But I will I will try a little um, later to see if we get some more info on that. Let's see. On the next row. Love is a fire. You set their heart on fire in the soul over burning and unquenchable. Quenchable. Quenchable. Jeez. <laughs> it is a natural and undeniable connection. Love that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're really into you. <laughs> Let's see. And then we have family tree. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. So you were brought up differently. So that is probably something. Yeah, so maybe this, what they're talking about, dark side, maybe it's not really a dark side. It's just a different way of doing things. I don't know. I'm trying to stick up for this person, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not coming out. Let's see. We have exhausted. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They really trying to trust the situation. 
Hmm. Okay, in the bottom deck we have the fight. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fear of love. Ooh, you're taming the savage beast. Ooh. Okay, now let's clarify. This love is a fire. You set their heart on fire. Let's see. Ooh, and I was thinking, is this a... I can't tell. Is that a lion in the background? But here we have the lion here. We have Leo energy. Restraint. This lion cracks me up. This is this is a cat with an attitude. <laughs> Look at him. I probably didn't keep it that long. He looks like he's got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> okay. He's looking at you like, what do you want? <laughs> so, yeah, there's strength here. This person is trying to get the strength to come towards you. Okay, what about this family tree? Death, transition. Okay, so this person is working super hard on trying to change things. There's a transition, some kind of change going on here. Death is Scorpio energy. It's the ending for a new beginning and it's transformation. So if this person is trying to change the way they are brought up or the what they learn or how they behave, to um, better fit in with you, I think. Exhausted. Why do we have exhausted here? Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Destined opportunities. So this person is... is There's going to be opportunities coming up for you guys. They're working on this. Divine timing. Destiny. They feel like you are their destiny. But we have three of swords. Heartache. Okay. There could have been a third party situation. You know, I don't feel it that strong as far as a, a connection with someone cheating. I think it's more like maybe with this this family the culture i think though they might have interfered because you are coming from different areas different cultures different beliefs and may they broke you up okay let's see what else do we have here what else endings they entered your life to test you teach you and bring out the very best in you now their part in your story is over. Okay, so some of you, this is not going to continue. For some of you, it's definitely continue. So, you know, it is what it is. It's going to be different for everyone. And if you guys really don't want to be with this person, then absolutely. There's no reason why you have to be. And we have justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration i really feel like this person is doing a lot of thinking a lot of work they want to make it work justice is um libra energy then we have battle of wits so it says here until both of you learn to let your guards down and the vul vulnerable and be vulnerable this love will continue to be a battle you guys are almost feel like you guys are fighting each other. It feels like, yeah, you're at a standstill right now. Okay, so the journey. We have this love journey may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Wow. Okay, there's definitely different energies coming in here. That is for sure. Especially with this ending here. Let's see, why is that here? Why is the ending here? Maybe some of you, whatever this dark thing is, once you find out this, you might say, hell no. <laughs> Let's see. What are the ending here? Six of Cups, Memories and Reunion. Oh my gosh. Well, that's sort of contradicting this. But it's like you both have a lot of memories of each other. There's going to be a reunion, but whether you want to continue with this, whether you want to um, put the effort in. Some of you are going to do it and some of you aren't. What about the justice? Why is justice here? For Scorpio, we have Queen of Swords, sharp and asserted. That makes perfect sense with the Battle of Wits. So, um, Justice, and that's Libra Energies. That's also the Queen of Swords. So this person knows they have to come to you right because you'll cut them right off. And they're working on that. And also this Battle of Wits. <laughs> let's see, let's get into that card. Okay, we have, ooh, the heart event, spiritual advisement. This person wants to have a long-term commitment, but you're fighting over it. You're both fighting this. And we have three of pentacles, collaboration, working together. So, yeah, so, so 
for some of you, this is really a good connection. This person has changed. They have, they're working very hard on themselves. Some, some of them, some, some of them, maybe not. Okay. Let's, um, let's first see what your person wants to say to you. And then I'll pull some little, see what the word is. Okay. What does your person want to say to you? We have, I miss the feel of you next to me. Um, you're all I ever wanted. I see a little part of you in everyone I meet. And they're looking for you and everyone. You still take my breath away. And I was reminded of your scent recently. Wow. You're on their mind constantly, it seems like. They can't forget you. Okay, now let's see what the word is. Who are we going with first? Oh, we have a Knight of Pentacles. Let's try this out. Just, let's see. What's the word? What's the word? We have career, regret, present. Okay, someone regrets their present career. Okay. So I don't know if, if you worked with this person or if they went to do something else they might have had a, maybe they left you or you left them to um pursue your career and now you regret that you did that that's what i'm giving that now this one we want to know what the dark side is what are they hiding don't want you to know what is that word what's the word sincere married contact Hmm. Were they married, maybe, and they didn't tell you? I don't know. Sincere contact. Or maybe they have a, well, maybe they have a, a married, sincere contact, and they're trying to tell you it's nothing more than, you know, a contact that they have, but maybe you might think it's more. Let me get a couple more on this. I don't know. This is one of those ones that made the spiritual want you to know. So we're going to get all confused. Oh, boy. I sure left it alone. Lust. <sighs> Lust thoughts. <laughs> thoughts of lust. So, someone's having thoughts of lust. Maybe maybe this person has a sexual addiction or something. And they don't want you to know. Maybe, you know, maybe they have some pretty interesting things on their computer. That might be what they consider their dark side. I don't know. Um, I almost feel like you're not supposed to know at this time. But you will when you're supposed to know. Okay, let's see. What else? We have any more people here? I could do on the people. Um, okay, I want to do it on this because this seems like it's um contradicting it. Okay, what's this with the endings? This says, ooh, love, apology. Ooh, okay, there's going to be some kind of shocking apology because they love you. And okay, and then it might end, but it might not. Okay. The, I gotta read these endings again. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part of the story is over. I don't know. I don't feel that though. So there's gonna be some kind of shocking apology that they're gonna present you. And it's, they do love you. But maybe still you might just go on. Maybe saying this is not right for me. We have the Justice and the Queen of Swords. So we'll do that. We'll see what we get on that. What's the word on that? Huh. Expect caring. Is it? <laughs> Expect caring. But is it? Okay. So then when this person comes and they show that they're caring. You're going to wonder. Are they really doing? Or is, is it? I guess. Well, maybe you know what that means. Is it? Okay, let's do the heart of it. Why is the heart of it here? And then we'll do the page of pentacles. We have revealed desire confused. Okay, they might reveal their desire, but it might confuse you. You might not be expecting this. What about this page of pentacles? Why is the page of pentacles here? We have fast. Ooh. 
Ooh, a tower again. Okay, this might be come fast. It might be closure for someone here. So yeah, so someone is ending this. So this might come real fast, shock you, and then there's closure. And that that's helping you move on, though. So if you're supposed to have closure with someone here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Page of Pentacles. If you're supposed to have closure, then, you know, that helps you move on. But this is going to be shocking. Two towers show up. Okay, now, got a nice surprise for you guys. Last night, oh, I made up these new little dice here with letters. Now, I don't know if... Some of you have um, submitted your first names to, com to for a comment and only first names. Don't put your last names down because I, well, I won't put them on anyway. And um, and it's just, you're just, I don't like the fact that you're putting a last name out there on the internet like that. Um, but anyway, just the first names of people that wanted your, the healing energy. I do the healing energy every single day. I was doing it night and day. I can't, I can't do that anymore. It's just... Too, um takes too much out of me when I'm doing all these readings so I'm doing them in the morning and the names once you send them in in the comment I'll put them in and um I'll heal them I'll send healing energy I'm sorry this is my last one for a day I'm really beat so um I put healing energy to the to the names every single day and then I decided I'll make up these dies with letters on it and when I pull the letter I'll I have the spreadsheet of all the names I have so far in my computer and um, I'm gonna call them out during your readings so if you do want your name to get healing every day and to be put in for when I pull the dies out um, just leave two first names if you put more than two first names then I'll just take the first two if you want more send me as many comments you want but two to a comment all right Two names to a comment. Sorry. <laughs> Two first names. Oh my gosh. Okay, what name do we have? Ugh. T. So we're, with the T, we have Tamara, Tammy, Tamra, Tandra, Tanja, T A N J A, T, Teresa, Teresa, T Timby, T H E M B I, um, Tina, Tino, Turner, and Tyler. <laughs> okay, now the next one. I'll do five. We have H. And H is Heidi, Heather, Hayden, Hiram, Habib, Habib H A B I B, and then Habiba, H A B I B A. Okay, then we have N. And we have Nacho, Nancy, Natasha, Nate. Okay, I gotta spell this one. I have no idea how to pronounce this. N A W A Z I E S T. Nawa Nawa Sis. I I really don't know how to say that. Neil, Nelly, Nick, Nicole, Norma, and Nidear. N Y D E A. A. Okay. A. We have Alexander, Amanda. Amy, Andrea, and Andrea, Andrew, Aneta, Angie, A N G E, and then we have Angel, Angelica, Angel, Angeli, A N J A L I, Anna, um, uh, Arena, A R I A N A. Ashish, Ashish, A S H I S H, and Austin. I'm sorry. If I wasn't so tired, they'd probably come out better. One more. One more. And we have Q. So for Q, we have my Q. Quishan. That Q comes up a lot. Is Q E S H A U N? Quadar. Q U A D I R. Quan, Q U A N, Quince, Quis, Quest, Quigley, Quill, Quincy, and Quinn. Okay, those are the names. Maybe there's someone you know that came up or your name came up. Now we'll just do what oh, I was going to say, what plan is. Oh my gosh, what um, signs you could be dealing with now. Okay, what are the possible signs you could be dealing with, Scorpio? Oh yeah, I forgot the the tower came up twice, so that was you, your energy. Okay, so we have Libra. 
Oh, and the death. That will be you too. Libra. Pisces. Cancer. Sagittarius. Capricorn. And Leo. So these are the placements in your chart or your person's chart are other people coming into you. Maybe you don't even know their sign or their chart at all. And it's Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Leo. Um, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The whole re reading um, doesn't always resonate. I mean, maybe even none of it does at this time. And then um, to look at your other placements in your chart, check out those readings. Uh, please let me know if it resonates. Leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. And... Um, I love you guys so much. I'm sorry. I'm really losing it here. I'm really fading fast. Um, I appreciate all you like, your shares, your scribes, your comments. And um, also, if you want to get notified every time I load up um, my videos, I try to do three to six a day that I post online. So um, just hit the bell and you'll get notified. And then if you get tired of getting the emails, then you can always unclick the bell. And still be subscribed. But um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again real soon.